When these matchups were first announced, uh, Evans posted on Facebook that I was going to die tonight. Hey! If anyone's going to die tonight, Evans, it's going to be you. Nothing to do with this roast. You just happen to have reached your country's average life expectancy. <laughs> It's actually quite tough being matched up with Evans because it's quite hard to avoid all the easy, unfunny, hacky, potentially offensive jokes about him being African. Um, I'm not morally against doing them. I just don't want to do anything too similar to his regular set. <laughs> Can you imagine Aziz has a twin sister? How ugly. <laughs> Evans, you had a twin sister as well. It's just mine wasn't sacrificed at birth to ensure a good harvest. That was a good joke. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Rick's an interesting guy, actually. His uh, adopted father is German. His adopted mother is Italian. He's Japanese. Uh, <laughs> He might have been a successful comedian by now if the Axis powers had won World War II. <laughs> Not only that, his, uh, his first failed marriage was to a British woman. His current failing marriage is to a French woman. <laughs> you do know there are more, are more efficient ways to get back at the Allies than being a shit husband. Right? <laughs> Chris is married, uh, but uh, don't worry, ladies, because this is true. They're in an open relationship. Uh, which means they're allowed to fuck whoever she wants. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of a silly joke, but let's hustle it anyway, see if you can guess the ending of this. Chris is uh, half Swedish, but also half Greek. So he buys his plates at Ikea, but he borrows money off the UK to do it. <laughs> So a little bit about Anna. Anna's from uh, good old Mormon, Utah. Uh, but she ran away to Japan because she was the least favorite of her dad's three kids and the least fuckable of her husband's four wives. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing pretty well so far. I feel like I'm, I mean, uh, the last time a boring Mormon lost this badly to a charismatic Muslim, it was Mitt Romney. <laughs> She goes by a stage name, of course. Her stage name is Dieter von Kinkelstein. Kinkelstein, wow. And Anne that's actually pretending to be a Jew. You're like the opposite of Anne Frank. <laughs> and, and, and let me clarify, by, by that I mean Anne Frank was a good writer. <laughs> Daughter, beautiful daughter, she's nearly one year old, right? Yeah? She was uh, born uh, a little bit premature, right? There was actually a bit of a worry at the beginning that she was going to be, you know, born dangerously underweight um, because Ruben's uh, her dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ruben was uh, born in Holland in the, in the 80s and uh, dresses like someone from Holland in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I've never seen so much gel in such thin hair. Uh, I'm still scared the stage is going to shatter from his tremendous ego. <laughs> it's... Are you done? Okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I just, usually the joke finishes when people laugh, so I wasn't quite sure. <laughs> I, I do like Aaron. It's quite hard to maintain a friendship with him, though, because he's a Jewish American banker, and I fucking hate two of those things. <laughs> I don't say which one. Um, and, and so Aaron mentioned that we uh, lived in Japan at the same time. Uh, unfortunately, we never got to do any comedy there together. Uh, we were on a bunch of the same shows. I just never saw Aaron do any comedy. <laughs> No, they're really good friends. I think that's because we're quite similar. Remember, I'm 50% the same race as him, white. Uh, so, uh, uh, that's what I mean, we've got in common. Because Vinay is like the whitest guy. Like, he's honestly like the whitest guy you ever meet in your entire Like, uh, like people have said that, but that's so true. Which is weird because his face looks like a racist caricature of an Indian man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, if I didn't know Vinay and someone drew like a sketch of him, I'd be like, that's offensive, mate. Come on, don't. Callum uh, ran away from home when he was 15, uh, but he came back after five minutes because he ran out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> Callum, 
Callum was um, involved in quite a horrible car crash recently at uh, his Edinburgh show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 well. Uh, no, 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 actually, he, um, no, he did actually get hit by a car when it mounted the curb outside a comedy club. Um, yeah, he said that it was really horrible that you know, a group of people who just wanted to see a good show had their night ruined by one idiot who didn't know what he was doing. Um, <laughs> which incidentally was his best review from the print. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.